y'all, it's Emily Miller with Charlotte's Best Nanny Agency, and I am here today to talk to you about average pay rates in the area. Each year, we place tons of nanny and domestic candidates in the Charlotte metro area and all of North and South Carolina. Each year, we also are really in tune with how much nannies and domestic workers are asking per hour for the positions that we offer and how much families are able to offer to nanny and domestic professionals. And we take that information and each year we publish a little blurb on our website that goes over average pay rate. So with these pay rate and ranges that we publish, of course, they are just averages in the area. We don't ever set pay rates. Um, we are not the employer of any nanny or domestic employee that we've placed, the families are. We can just give general guidance and advice on what we're seeing as averages in town or in the region. So this year we just published our new blurb about average pay rates. And I would like to share with you that most nannies in the area are making on average $23 an hour to 30 plus dollars an hour. And it just depends on expertise, experience, number of children and duties. For domestic workers, such as family assistants, house managers, estate managers, um, and anything that falls in the domestic category, those rates can float between 25 and 32 plus an hour. That is what we're seeing in the area. These pay rates are just um, our guide and the averages we're seeing. Again, we do not set pay rates as we're not an employer of any nanny or domestic professional, but this is what we're seeing in the area. All pay rates that I just quoted are before taxes are taken out. If you are wondering what you would make after taxes are taken out, you can visit GTM Payroll Service and HR's website and they have a free resource that's a payroll calculator that will show you what you would make after taxes at these rates. It's also a great tool for families where families can plug in what they're gonna pay their nannies or domestic workers and it will show them their full responsibility with taxes and any tax credits that they may be able to take advantage of. So that's always a great tool. And I just wanted to share those rates with you. There's more on our website. So if you are curious on the average pay rates for positions or have any questions or want more information about average pay, please visit our website. And of course, you can always call or email us anytime with any questions on this and we would be happy to help.